Welcome. It's another day in paradise. This is the eighth wonder of the world. And in this channel, I talk about investing in stocks, um, mutual fund, no, stocks, index funds, ETFs, REITs, cryptos, and physical precious metals. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about sit buying uh, silver, which is a precious metals. There's four um, gold silver platinum and palladium so the way i invest is i started out with silver since it's the lowest uh you can get um uh silver right now per ounce you can get uh, you can get an ounce of silver for 15 dollars, or you can buy it by the gram which is 50 cents or you could get silver by the kilo for 494 dollars. so the way i started out i started out pretty uh i started out with five uh troy ounces let me show you guys real quick um, I started out with this. I was gonna do one, but I was like, let me just go ahead and buy. So I started. I started out with this five troy ounces. So this is. I'm passing this down, and I'm gonna go into uh, uh, Google, Wikipedia, and um, show you guys what the value of just having silver. What I mean, a lot of people don't know it's worth, but it has a lot of applications that you, that you can use silver for. So that's one of the main reasons I started getting into precious metals because I started to see like, wow, these precious metals are used in everything that we use. And I see that, you know, it's ha it has value. So I started out with, uh, today's episode is just gonna be pure silver. But as of now, my confidence level, I'm at platinum. Um, gold and pl uh, palladium, they're just, too high for me right now so i'm gonna stick to silver and platinum that's pretty much where i'm gonna start investing that's uh where i'm comfortable where my um pretty much what my range is for me to invest in so i mean once i move up the scale in in you know profits and um or more of the other spectrum i start investing in gold and palladium but as of now um silver and platinum but silver for me <clears throat> i'm all in so where I bought my silver is from this website, AppMix. So if you go here, here's just a little bit of information. Um, as you can see, like you can buy it by the ounce, gram, or kilo. Um, hold on, let me shrink me down a little bit. Show, um, show you the uh, this chart. As you can see, this chart. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I hit the all. So pretty much it's from 1990 all the way to 2008. Um, it peaked. Let me see the peak. Uh, at $44.92. And that was on April 18, 2011. So it dropped down. So pretty much, I mean... My philosophy, if it hit that mark, it'll hit it again sometime in the future. So right now, I'm buying it at $14, $15 an ounce. So I kind of, the way I strategize buying precious met, uh, precious metals is the same way I strategize buying uh, stocks, index funds, ETFs, and REITs, and now cryptos. So... As you can see, the gold price, silver price, platinum price, palladium price. It depends on like where you're at on the spectrum. I started out with silver to build my confidence to buy platinum. Now that I got these two, I'm going to go for these in the future. But I've seen gold at 12, 1200. I've seen this also like at 11, 1000. So to me, these two are too expensive for me now. So I'm looking at these two. Really more silver. I got a platinum bar. I'll go over that next Saturday. I'll do platinum. So today is all about silver. And then uh, the way I bought is you go here. So a five ounce silver bar. Or you can buy coins, however you guys, you know, want to invest. But it's just the important thing is just having silver. So, see the one ounces are uh, sixteen bucks. You can get the ten ounces are one hundred and sixty-two dollars. Where's the uh, five ounce? So I bought this five ounce for about eighty bucks. 
so five ounce bars go for about 80. I got a 10, a 10 ounce, which I kind of built up my tolerance. So this is my 10 ounce. As you can see, Ape Mex certified. So that's just, this is where I get my um, <clears throat> precious metals. There's another one called Kitco, K-I-T-C-O. But I've just noticed here that it, they have better delivery. Like you pay zero um, with um, insurance included. So free shipping and, and uh, insurance included. So that 10 ounce bar um, I bought for like 160. So that's where I'm at now. Now I'm building up to uh, 20, ounce, 20 ounce bars. I'm finding a mark where I'm comfortable. And then I just throughout the year... That's how I'll invest 20 ounce. 20 ounce silver. Let me look at the 20 ounce silver bar. So they don't go for the 20. I mean, I don't like, I like the apex. So I think the next one up is 50 after the 10 yeah 50 so as you can see the 50s are 800 bucks so that's pretty much up there getting a 50 ounce silver bar of silver is equivalent to getting a uh, one troy ounce of platinum so you know the choice is yours but um, that's where I'm at I think that 50 ounces is just too much I don't know why they don't have a let me try a 30 30 ounce <clears throat> no I think it goes from 10 to 50 10 to 50 I thought it I thought a 10 goes in there but I think that's how they sell it yeah see the, the 10s so it goes 10 to 50 so if I'm gonna move up I'm gonna move the 50 so I think I'm gonna stay with the 10s let me try a 40 ounce yeah so basically the way you can buy it, you can go one ounce, five ounce, 10 ounce, and then 50 ounces. So, and, and that's my range. So this is the website that I use um, to purchase my silver. And I'm gonna go into some background with silver, what it is, interesting um, applications for it. Uh, silver is a chemical chemical with the symbol AG. <clears throat> From the Latin urgentum, derived from the Proto-Indo-European, shiny or white, and atomic number 47, a soft white luxurious transition metal. It exhibits the highest electrical conductivity. Uh, interesting. Thermal conductivity and reflectivity of any metal. The metal is found in the Earth's crust in the pure free elemental form, native silver, as an alloy with gold and other metals and in minerals such as argentine and chlora chlorogerite most silver is produced as a byproduct of copper gold lead and zinc refining silver has been valued as a precious metal S silver metal is used in many bullion coins sometimes alongside gold while it is more abundant than gold it is much less abundant as a native metal its purity is typically measured as a pure milli basis a 94 percent pure alloy described as 0 0.940 fine as one of the seven metals of antiquity silver has an enduring role in most human cultures other than in currency and as an investment medium coins and bullion silver is used in solar panels interesting water filtration jewelry ornaments high value tableware and utensils hence the term silverware in electrical contacts and conductors in specialized mirrors window coatings in catalyst catalysis of chemical reactions as a chlorine in stained glass and in specialized confectionery its compounds are used in photo photographic and x-ray film didn't know that interesting Dilute solutions in silver nitrate and other compounds are used as disinfectants and microbiocides. Oligodynamic effect added to bandages and wound dressings, catheters, and other medical instruments. So as you can see, it has a bunch of applications.
it's value just having this it's always going to have value in, in in the world so and that's why um i got into it cuz just having this um and then plus it doesn't i mean as long as you holding this um it's going to be like year it's, it's going to hold its value for years instead of like having art and all this other stuff that people collect and baseball cards like after after years it starts to deteriorate yeah you can protect it but you know me i've started you know me being a collector now i'm more looking towards the future and what's going to what's going to last and what people are going to still want to still buy like yeah you can have like baseball cards football cards collectors items all this but those selected few people the more we go into the future they're going to they're going to diminish more and more it's not going to be more of them it's going to be less of them so and then art that lasts i mean that's like one in a million so I, to me the way i did the math on this is i'd rather invest in precious metals because this is you can apply this to everyday life that's going to be used beyond the future and you know once we get into the future you know this might even tap into some other other uh electronic stuff and futuristic stuff that we get into so uh if you want more information here's silver it has a whole plethora of information i just went through basically just to run through that as you can see yeah i mean it it lists silver there's a thousand ounce silver bar so and that's my reason for pretty much having something physical you know, because everything, you know, I ne you never know, like, with the system. Yeah, I'm invested in the system. Um, stocks, REITs, in, in, uh, playing the rule of 72. But just to have physical stuff, too, it, it balances everything out. Because you don't know what's going to go, what's going to give. So, uh, that's it with the silver. If you want to invest, I mean, here's the website. Um, pretty much you saw the bars that I got so I mean it's official if you start out start out, I would start out with even with an ounce just start collecting it. so until next set next what's today oh today's Sunday so uh, next so I do pre uh, buying precious metals on Sundays so next Sunday I'll do platinum until next time 5,000